fasten your seatbelts. The most requested home tour has just begun. We are on a very private piece of property with its own runway. Everything about this home was intentionally designed for the homeowners to consider aging in place as well as leaving a legacy. And this is certainly a legacy home. As we fly in, we can see two beautiful waterfalls. And if you decide to drive to the property, you're greeted by this magnificent portico, which allows you to pull right up and unload your baggage. We've got a double front door, eight feet tall, that's six feet wide. And take a look at the windows that surround it. All this ties perfectly with the grandeur that we have of a portico area. We've got great vaulted ceilings. And take a look at the metalwork on these craftsman style trusses. Supporting this roof system, We've got 12 by 12 big, massive hand-hewn beams supporting the perimeter of this. This is not an ordinary garage. It looks just as beautiful as the rest of the home. We've got a great covered area. Take a look at the timbers coming down between each garage bay. When pairing the feature wall of that entry, as well as this grand portico, it makes for an impressive statement on this home. As we make our way to the pool area, take a look at the extended overhangs that we have on the gables, as well as the edge of the portico. We've got that beautiful craftsman style truss right over here. When hosting, this is where everyone gravitates to. We've got terrific outdoor spaces, an outdoor kitchen, fire pit area, of course, the pool, and plenty of seating around the perimeter. What's great about this layout is that we have a terrific flow from this space directly into the home. Take a look at those patio doors and how wide they are. When you open those up, it allows for a continuous flow from the inside to this outdoor gathering space. The grandchildren love coming over and using the splash pad. This pool has many considerations. So not only could it be a splash pad, but you could also bring in lounge chairs to this space. Also, how often do you have seating within a pool? That's what makes this so perfect. With friends flying in regularly, the homeowners thought it would be fun to have gable dormers up in this roof system, allowing you to still see the planes as they fly by. Even if you don't need that additional light or that view, it offers great architectural interest when viewing this structure. Take a look at how it just changes the aesthetic of a very large roof area and adds a lot more architectural interest. When we engineer our homes, we take it to a whole new level. Take a look at the way this beam continues over onto the post, carrying the load of the timber truss and the roof structure above it onto the concrete piers with that beautiful quarry stone. Speaking of stone, you can't overlook this incredible fireplace chase. It continues the entire height of the feature wall with a gorgeous decorative chimney cap at the top and then with the extension of the roof overhang, it offers a great accent drawing your eye up to the peak. The primary feature wall faces the north side, allowing a lot of beautiful indirect light to flow into the home. So not only does it look great, but it also lights up the home beautifully and allows us to see the beautiful stars in the evening. Now, one thing you won't see is unsightly downspouts. This home has rain chains around the perimeter of it, and they just blend into the background. As the water channels in the gutters to the rain chains, it collects into this bucket full of beautiful stones, but it doesn't stop there. It continues underground, draining to daylight to a drain field. When entertaining, it's great when everyone can be nearby, but also have plenty of space. Now take a look at this. You may think it's a pergola, but we see it as so much more. Consider these hidden features. 
This area is separate from the rest of the space, allowing a lot more shaded coverage, perfect for when viewing the TV in this area. But also, right now, it's a beautiful, crisp morning, allowing terrific airflow. And when the bugs come out, we can convert this entire space into a screened area. This allows for so much more flexibility. We can lower down the screens on all four sides. And when the rains come in, we've got you covered there too. We have now made our way into the home, but this is somewhat of a pool room area because we can open up these patio doors and allow this entire space to overflow into the outdoor entertaining areas. We still have the stamped concrete in here. We've continued with the same log siding with that double hewn and hand hewn finish. And we've also carried through these impressive craftsman style trusses with a custom built chandelier as a center focal point. Look at the way it just fills the volume of that space with these beautiful windows on this feature wall. We're allowed to see the beautiful sky out there as well as the two additional trusses just beyond this room. So imagine when those doors are opened up, all of these flow together as one cohesive unit. There is a beautiful fireplace with a hearth raised up at seating height level. It also then effectively raises the firebox so we can have a, a better view of that. And then we took one of our hand hewn timbers and we installed it as a mantle. It just looks perfect for this space. This is brilliant. There is a bathroom nearby in the pool house so that your guests don't need to travel through the main house to use it. And when you're ready to rinse off from the pool, there is a men's and women's shower on each side. While the same flooring flows throughout this space, each room has its own distinctive style. You might want to save this idea for your new home. You're going to love this. We're able to accommodate the flexibility of hosting by opening up all these doors. So take a look at this. Look how easy that slides open. And it's just whisper quiet as well. Now all of a sudden, this entire space just becomes one. I love it. And now we are in the grandest space of them all. This is the dining room, living room, and kitchen area. Take a look at the volume of this space with incredibly tall sidewalls, mortise and tenon timber trusses above us, and two great chandeliers. There is a continuation of timber framing above the kitchen area with these purlins spanning this space allowing for much more purposeful and intentional lighting above the island, as well as the lighting when you're in the kitchen. See, this is very important. You wanna make sure that your task lighting is appropriately lighting up what you're working on. We've got a terrific view out back. We can also see anyone coming in down the driveway. Now, how wonderful is this? Everyone loves sitting at the island, and there's plenty of seating here. This island is massive with a beautiful leathered finish on this granite. And speaking of finishes, take a look at the texture on this panelized Sub-Zero refrigerator. We also have put appliance panels on the trash compactor, the dishwasher. Take a look at that extra huge Wolf gas cooktop. I would love this. This would be great for making breakfast in the morning. And even the pot filler, just perfect for a space like this. Now that texture that I pointed out on the refrigerator, that's carried through with the hood above us. This apron farmhouse sink has a divider in the middle, allowing you to accumulate dishes in one sink bay while working out of the other. I love all the metal accents in this kitchen. We can see it on the cabinets. These are all individually placed. These are handcrafted custom cabinets with inset doors. We've got accenting finishes, so the island and that refrigerator are all a lighter hickory finish. And then, of course, we see a darker accenting finish right over here with the travertine below. Take a look at the way the light hits the different depths of the travertine, as well as the pitting and texture within the material. Many kitchen designers prefer to have at least 42 inches of space between countertops. We have over 60 inches right here, so nobody is getting in anyone's way. You can easily lay out all the food on this island, or if you're hosting a large event, it's gonna be a very short path to take it outside. 
And right around the corner, how convenient is this, but we've got a pantry right here. The glass has a little bit of obscurity, which allows you to scatter the light, especially when the light's on in the pantry, and it just looks beautiful. So we've got rustic hickory here with, of course, that dark stain matching the cabinets. And we've continued with the rustic hickory inset cabinets in here in a natural finish. Take a look at these. This is just perfect. You can store your pantry items in here, even a sink for the coffee maker. Right around the corner is the main floor laundry and the master bedroom suite. We'll get to that soon, but take a look at this table. It seats 18, which gives you a sense of how big this room is. There is plenty of room here and overflow seating for the living room area. One of my favorite things is this reclaimed mantle. Take a look at all the character in that mantle. How easy is it to clean this? This is one solid piece. That is brilliant. And right behind me is a very special space. Everyone wonders what is up there. So let's head up to that overlook. You're gonna be surprised. This is incredible. So this overlook overlooks not only the kitchen, dining room, and living room, but also the front foyer entry area. Take a look at this turnbuckle railing system. Being that these were custom created, we we're able to also use those on the dining room chairs. So that all ties together. I love the fact that we're overlooking this foyer entry. It allows an abundance of light to overflow into this space. And of course, we're getting that on this side as well. The beautiful chandelier and another incredible feature wall. This home just has so many feature walls. The contrast of the wood ceiling with the drywall pairs so well in this home and it ties into the beautiful stain on the timbers. Being up this high, now this is rare, but you can get a true appreciation for how massive these mortise and tenon timber trusses are. These are a work of art and absolutely beautiful. It's great to be able to get a close up look. This home just keeps getting better. Look what was done above the garage space. We are in the guest suite with full accommodations. We've got a full working kitchen, a bathroom, a master bedroom area, as well as a second bedroom. Even our own little living room area with a fireplace, a TV above. This stairwell gives us direct access to the guest parking, allowing them to come and go without interruption. One of my favorite things about this space is looking at the roof lines and the way that these inverted valleys play a role in the architecture. It adds a lot of interest. And take a look at this. There's this very special space up here. So I'll use the ship's ladder and meet you right up there. Rather than this being wasted space, we decided to put a bed up here. It's a perfect place for reading a book or taking a nap. These bypass doors were built on site with Golden Eagle material. That's why they look so rustic and tie into this hand hewn trim. There is still so much more to see on this tour. So let's continue on. Making our way down this timber stair, I, I just always appreciate the open treads on these. And now we have an accenting color on the stringers and the treads, tying it all together. It correlates with the accenting color that we have on this flooring material where the wood is accenting the tile. Recall that pantry door that was the same color as the kitchen cabinets and had the same glass? Well, we've done the same thing with the front door as well. This is absolutely beautiful. When you have an eight foot tall door like this, it's important that it has a multi-point lock system to make sure that not only is it secure, but also weather tight. Most doors are an inch and three quarters thick. This one is two and a quarter. It is absolutely massive. The door hardware in this home is M-Tech. The interior doors, we're seeing planking, a two panel planking on the rustic pine doors. Before we make our way to the other side of the home, let's get reoriented. We've got a garage right over here, a bathroom. We've got benches on both sides of the foyer. And this is great. Take a look at these custom hooks with the metal iron. It ties into all the other ironwork that we see throughout the home. Now let's head back to this side. We still have the primary laundry to check out as well as the master suite. Right off the master suite, we've got the laundry room area with a beautiful apron front, fire clay enamel sink. Notice how the washer and dryer are raised up on custom built pedestals made out of the rustic hickory that's being used on the accenting cabinetry. The other cabinets are a painted finish. That's the only painted cabinet that you'll see in the home. 
and we've got some beautiful natural light overflowing this area, leading us back out into this main hallway. Uh, this master suite is something you're gonna wanna see. Let's check it out. If you often have visitors over, it's very convenient to have a hallway just like this. Not only is there a door at the beginning of the hallway, but of course leading into the master bedroom. We also have terrific views of the beautiful rolling hills and gorgeous landscaping. There's just so much wonderful light coming into this space. And take a look at the up lighting within those Morrison Tenon timber trusses. That is gorgeous ambient light. In the evening time, the homeowners like to reduce all the lighting in this room, but just leave those lit up as nice ambient light. The master closet is integrated into the bathroom. I just love that. It's nice if someone's still sleeping, you can come into this space, close off the door, and have access to everything. And there's even a private powder room toilet area in this space as well. There is so much storage in this bathroom. When we separate both sinks like this and we have this much space, which is nearly a 10 foot run, it allows us to have a tremendous amount of drawers. Now take a look at these drawers. Although these are five piece drawers, the top drawer is a slab. Now that's a consideration we like to take into account when we've got the hardware to consider because the top drawer is a smaller drawer. So we wanna be able to fit that hardware in there well. We have a walk-in tile shower and you truly do walk into it and it goes around the corner. The tile work is beautiful and once again, we've got another accent wall for the tile. We've made our way to the finished lower level. It is fantastic down here. We have our own movie theater. This is absolutely incredible with movie theater seating. These are electronically controlled, so you're able to not only adjust the position of them, but we can also make sure that they're at your own desired comfort level. Now we've got a normal TV here, but wait and see what we can do. All we have to do is turn on this special remote that not only turns on the projector for us, but also retracts down the screen. It is so simple. The screen retracted into a custom built timber cavity. <laughs> How cool is that? And then take a look at this baseboard. I don't know if you've noticed it, but it's throughout the whole home, it is a 10 inch high baseboard with the hand hewn finish on it. Pretty neat. We'll take a few steps down. We've got this custom built cabinetry behind these doors with a fabric lining. We've got subwoofers right there. There's a full working kitchen down here. Next to the kitchen, we've got custom built booth seating. This booth seating is terrific when you're hosting large events. We also have a special built cubby area for all the kids toys. What a great way to use that space under the stair. We've got our mechanicals right behind here. Everything has in-floor heat. How great is that? We've got access for the walkout wall, some incredible landscaping out there. We should head out there right after this. But down the hall, we've got enough room to be able to sleep seven. There is a full bathroom right down here, as well as another one for a Jack and Jill between these two bedrooms. There are a total of four bedrooms in this space. Now, all these bedrooms have great views. Let's make our way back out and we'll check out the exterior once again. There are so many beautiful details in this home, but there are also a lot of little things behind the scenes that were really well thought out. Take a look at the exhaust for the washers and dryers. We've got an air conditioner. Even just around the corner back here, the generator is hidden. So all of this is out of sight. We don't wanna see it when you approach the home or if you're enjoying the home when you're entertaining. It also keeps these louder elements at bay and you, you don't hear them when you're outside in the peaceful nature. Now take a look at all this hardscaping. This is just absolutely incredible. And the landscaping is gorgeous as well, leading us out both directions. We have an incredible amount of height on this back wall and three different textures from a quarry stone to the horizontal log siding and then the vertical board on board. There are three service doors on this garage. Now this doesn't count as one of them. It's an additional garage door. I think this is so great because it's not oversized. It's perfect for UTVs and lawnmowers. Many of you are probably wondering about that private entrance for the guests up in the guest house. They come in off of this door and then the stair is directly here. This door allows us access back into the main garage. There were so many great ideas. Comment below with what your favorites are. And if you'd like more home tours, check out this playlist.